In keeping with my warts and all theory of running a website, this is the hinge line I wound up with when I've installed these control services at like 3 o'clock in the morning. First I'm going to set my heat iron to about half of its heat range. We want to stick the covering, we don't want to shrink it. To make this a little easier, I removed the linkage from the control surface. Next I spray the hinge line area with alcohol and wipe that down really good. We'll do this two or three times to make sure you've got all the oil off of it. I'll clean this area up once or twice even when I remember to do this when I'm first building the plane. I use a ruler to draw a straight line on the covering so I wind up with a consistent width piece. I keep a decent pair of scissors in this shop just for cutting covering. I've tried an exacto and a straight edge but the covering's too slippery and I keep having the ruler move and cutting a crooked piece. Notice that the control service is at its full travel. Now when we install this strip of covering, it won't be holding the control surface back. I'm using my trim iron here just to see how good this actually works for this. I usually use my regular covering iron. I've got it on a low heat range and it seems to work pretty well. I'm pretty good at building wrinkles into this covering no matter what tool I use. So I use my regular iron because it's a little faster. I still have to take my time to make sure we get this covering as flat as we can possibly get it. On a plane like this, I go for all of the control movement I can get. That's another reason I like to get this strip of covering as flat as I can possibly get it. We always put this ceiling strip on from the bottom of the plane. It just makes it look better from the top. Before quitting, I used the trim iron to make sure that I had all of the covering stuck down as far as I could down into the gap. When I was satisfied with that, I moved the control surface through its whole range of motion to be sure that nothing binds up. Then before we have the holy cow I actually did it party, I hook up the linkage and make sure that the control service moves through its full range of motion. And looking from the top now, you can't hardly tell that we actually did anything here except we don't have a hinge gap anymore. Right now some of you are saying, well if he can do it so can I. Well that's kind of the point of all of this, yes you can do it. 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 Can do it.